hello and thank you for watching um, today I want to plant some seeds I want to be I want to plant milkweed seeds and I am going to turn the camera around to show you what I'm going to do and my experience growing milkweed seeds so this is the one okay hang on <laughs> okay so this is the variety that I'm going to plant I don't know if it's in focus. I hope it's in focus. <clears throat> so I I really like pink, white, purple. Those are my colors and yellow. So last year I grew I grew a different variety of milkweed and I had a bunch of caterpillars and I released so many monarchs it was so much fun but i want to have a specific palette of color in my garden so i moved the ones that i had here that were orange and red and i am going to plant this ones as you can see i already tried uh, i started this inside under my lights and then I moved them outside to the greenhouse. Then I moved them here. I set, I set them here to get them used to being in this environment. This, they get sun. Um, so I put them here for a few hours every day. I just saw, I sat the um, containers on the side here. And I thought that they were ready. I planted them, but this is the only one that is growing these two lost all the leaves as you can see and the other one seemed like their growth was paralyzed or something and they're not doing very good I don't think so I am still going to leave them here just in case because I have learned that milkweed is a very resilient plant and they look like they're dead and then they come back so i'm gonna leave those just in case but i'm going to open a little hole on the side of each one and i'm going to put two or three seeds there and i will try to sow them directly and avoid having to move them so many times we'll see if that gives me better results and I can show you <laughs> but so far I'm not very happy this wasn't successful but that's the the learning experience you know you have to try and change things around and learn so I'm going to set the camera here and start planting the seeds which should only take two minutes <laughs> and then um, come back around <laughs> and then I want to go to the greenhouse because I want to start growing uh, more senior seeds these are the ones that I have growing in pots and in another uh, flower bed I started growing them I saw them um, directly uh, on the soil and they're coming amazing there that was very successful all of them are coming and I also want to grow more Cosmo seeds and I'm very excited about those. It's my first time with Cosmo seeds but I already have some uh, that are blooming around here. I, I saw at least one and uh, they're, they look very pretty so I can't wait to have more of them uh, scattered around. So that's why I want to grow more of each one and I also I will also show you that so let's get started <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, that took less than two minutes. So now I'm over here in the greenhouse and I, I want to plant the cosmos and the zinnias now. And I tried sowing more um, a little bit over a week ago and only one came up. I don't know why, but I know that the seeds are good because I bought them this year and I've used, I've used them around the garden, like I mentioned, and they all came and <laughs> this is the only one that I got this time. So I will try again. I already poke some holes inside uh, the cells. Uh, same for the stenias. None of them came. I don't know why. Maybe I will bring them out and not have them in the greenhouse so that I can keep an eye on watering them. I don't. That's the only thing that I can think of. So I'm going to plant some seeds now and I really am hoping that the milkweed comes <laughs> and that it's um, it sprouts because I spent all the seeds. I don't have any more. I will have to go buy more in case that doesn't work. So fingers crossed that I get all the milkweed <laughs> from those seeds, the last ones. So let's see if you can see me here. Oh. Okay. I'm not an expert on this, trying to figure out how to do the videos. That, I think that looks good. <laughs> All right. So I already have some labels um, for each one. So these are the Cosmos. And the same, let's see how many I have. Yeah, I have more than I had. <laughs> oh, the milkweed. Okay, so. I'll probably put two in each one.
Okay, I'm going to water them now. And there's one more thing that I want to do. My last thing that I want to do is with, with the German chamomile. I planted the seeds in, the, in this, you know, uh, big container. I planted all of the seeds that I wanted. And now I think it's about the time where I need to just separate them and put them in separate containers and thin them out which means that I will be cutting the weakest ones, smallest ones, and I will only leave one per cell. So I'm going to prepare the soil and, and then I'll show you how I am going to divide this. And by the way, <laughs> this is my first time doing this. I tried growing German chamomile last year and it wasn't successful. So I'm trying again this year with new seeds and so far so good. So I hope that this will work out because I really want to have my chamomile, <laughs> okay? So I'll be right back when I have my soil ready. So let's see how I'm going to do this. I have this tool that, was, uh, that came with these um, trays that I got for growing seeds on, on Amazon and the tools came with it and I have used them so uh, I think they're very helpful for this type of thing uh, but you can also use uh, a regular spoon so let's see how I can do this without harming harming the roots the little roots Oh my gosh okay so look at this I'm sure you can see the little roots growing there I'm gonna try to plant this just as it is right here Growing seeds is like having a little baby. You really have to wash them every day. And you're gonna have to plant them like three times in different pots before you put them in the ground. <laughs> Not three times, maybe two times. So, number one, the first one is done. The first one is done. Okay, look at this. There's four of them there. So, I think I am going to wait for a few days before I cut any of them. That's what I'm going to do. I think I'm gonna wait. So I'm just gonna put as many as I can um, on each tray, on each um, cell. And then in a few days, when I see that they're doing well, and then I'll come and thin them out. So I will leave only one eventually per cell.
Okay, so I have to tell you, I won't be doing this method of sewing seed again because it's so difficult to separate the seed, the, the seedlings without harming the roots and then trying to get them in the little cells. And let me show you how it turned out. I still need to water them, of course. So I show you how I had them. I'm gonna leave those there actually because if this doesn't work i'm just gonna start cutting some of these up and allowing allowing them to grow in there and then move them when they are more mature but you know i wanted to try doing it this way and oh my god it's so hard <laughs> it's so hard i won't be doing this again i don't think so so now that they're here i'm just gonna water them I am going to protect them and <laughs> care for them like they're my babies and then hopefully they will grow and I will be able to have my chamomile plants so I will keep you updated on that of course so bye for now <laughs>